We're going to read the book Pony Ella, written by Laura Numeroff and Nate Evans. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful horse named Pony Ella. Her coat was white as a marshmallow, and her mane was long and silky. She lived on a small farm with green pastures and a lovely barn. Pony Ella was very happy. One day, she was having fun jumping when she noticed a sign on the front gate. Soon, Pony Ella's owners were driving away, and the new people were moving in. They brought their two ponies, Plumpkin and Bun-Bun. This place is hideous, said Plumpkin. I can't believe we have to live with her, Bun-Bun said, glaring at Pony Ella. My coat is much prettier than hers, said Plumpkin. White is so boring, and my mane is much nicer than hers snorted Bun-Bun jealously. She looks like she's wearing a clown wig. Plumpkin and Bun-Bun did not like Pony Ella one bit. They made such a fuss that the new owner put Pony Ella in a tiny smelly stall that was way out and back. She never got to jump anymore. When Pony Ella wasn't pulling a coal-filled cart, she was tied up. Her coat became a, as gray as a rain cloud. Pony Ella was miserable. Even Sam, the barn mouse, felt sorry for her. One day, a big shiny car drove by. There was a little girl with red hair and freckles in the back seat. That's Princess Penelope, said Bun Bun. I've heard that she lives on a magnificent royal ranch. I wish I could live with her, said Plumpkin. I have car I'd have carrot cake every day. The princess looks so kind, thought Pony Ella, pulling her heavy cart. Well, I heard Princess Penelope's going to pick the winner of the, trip of the Tippington 25th Annual Grand Royal Pony Championship, said Bun Bun. It's the most important pony show of the year, and I'm sure that I'll win. No, I will, said Plumpkin. When is the show, Pony Ella asked excitedly. What does it matter? Bun Bun sneered. You're not going. You're dirty and ugly and smell like a pig, said Plumpkin. Oink, oink. On the day of the show, grooms readied Bun Bun and Plumpkin, then drove them away in a fancy horse trailer. Pony Ella began to cry. Suddenly, there was a puff of smoke and a spray of sparks. Poof! An old mare wearing a cape appeared. Who are you? asked Pony Ella. I'm your fairy godmare, said the horse. Why are you crying? I want to go to the Tippington 25th Annual Grand Royal Pony Championship, Pony Ella said. Then you shall go, the fairy godmare said. Fetch me a big juicy apple. All Pony Ella could find was an old apple core. Close enough, said the fairy godmare. She swished her tail and... Poof! There was a trailer. Now we need someone to drive the trailer, the fairy godmare said. I can do it, cried Sam. The fairy godmare wiggled her ears and poof, Sam turned into a driver. Cheese Louise, said Sam. Then the fairy godmare swished her tail again and poof, Pony Ella looked absolutely beautiful. And most magically of all, Pony Ella had sparkling diamond horseshoes. And as Pony Ella got into the trailer, her fairy godmare said, Now remember, you must be home by the stroke of noon. That's when everyone returns to normal, and you'll look exactly as you did before. Pony Ella arrived at the show. When she walked past Bun Bun and Plumpkin, they didn't even recognize her. Isn't that the fancy pony from Paris? whispered Bun Bun. You're right, said Plumpkin. It's Fifi La Fru Fru. Soon it was time for the championship event. Several ponies took their turn going over the jumps, but none of them could make it over the last one. It was too high. Then it was Bun Bun's turn. She missed almost every jump. When it was time for Plumpkin, she knocked all of the jumps over. Finally, Pony Ella trotted into the ring. She got over the first jump just fine. The second, and the third jumps were trickier, but she made them too. 
All she had to do was make it over that last jump. Ponyella jumped up, 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 and over she went. The crowd cheered. Where did that amazing pony come from, yelled someone. Is that Princess Penelope? All of a sudden, the clock struck 12. Oh no, cried Sam. Don't forget what the old horse said. Ponyella galloped toward her trailer so fast she lost a shoe. Wait, called the princess, but Ponyella couldn't wait. Ponyella and Sam hurried home. Halfway there, poof. Everything, everything turned back to the way it was. Ponyella ran home as fast as she could, Sam clinging desperately to her mane. Later that afternoon, Bun Bun and Plumpkin returned from the show. Did the princess pick a champion, Ponyella asked. Not yet, said Plumpkin, but I am sure that it's me. No, I was the best, Plump, or Bun Bun said. Put a muzzle on it, Plumpkin said. Go eat an apple with a worm in it, said Bun Bun, and the two fought all night about which of them would win. The next morning, Princess Penelope arrived at the ranch. I'm looking for the champion, said the princess. Whoever this diamond horseshoe fits is the winner. Plumpkin and Bun Bun rushed over to see if their horseshoe fit. Bun Bun tried wiggling her foot, but it was too skinny. Plumpkin tried stomping her foot into the shoe, but her hoof was too pudgy. Oh no, said the princess sadly. I'm never going to find my champion pony. Pony Ella pulled frantically at her rope, but she couldn't get free. I'll help you, said Sam as he chewed through the rope. Pony Ella ran toward the princess. Plumpkin and Bun Bun tried to trip her, but Pony Ella jumped right over them. Holy haystacks, what a jump, cried the princess. Stop the car. She took the diamond horseshoe and tried it on Pony Ella. It fits perfectly. Plumpkin and Bun Bun fainted. Someone needs a bath, the princess said. Then she nuzzled Pony Ella's nose. I want you to be my pony, the princess whispered. I'm going to buy you no matter what it costs. The princess gave Ponyella's owner a big piggy bank filled with all of the allowance that she had saved. The princess took Ponyella home and threw her a fabulous bridal party. She brushed Ponyella every day and fed her carrot muffins. Ponyella had the roomiest stall that she had ever seen. Boy, this is the life, said Sam. Ponyella jumped all the time and she lived happily ever after. As for Plumpkin and Bun Bun, they were sold to a new owner, but that is another story. The end.